Hello my crafting friends, I'm coming today with a project share and I'm just sharing um, just a little, I guess you can call it a canvas is kind of what I'm calling it, but it's just a piece of um, chipboard that was supposed to be used for a mini album and I have um, quite a few of those and I have one in racks. This one came from Suitcase Dreams, who's Kimberly here on YouTube. And so I decided I would make like a little plaque um, for a friend who's having a birthday at the end of the month and I've just been making her a bunch of handmade goodies and this I um, got one of those easels from the um, dollar store that she can use to set this in and display like on her piano in her living room these are her colors in her decor so I first um, took and painted the chipboard on the base it's called sweet potato and it's a scrapbook paint from making memories and then I took a mask and I used a terracotta craft smart paint that I got at Michaels with a mask and um, then I let that dry and then I took this um, Belzer Designs TCW um, crafters workshop template the hexagons and I use the modeling paste on all four corners this one got covered up you can kinda see just a little hint of it there but I did that on all four corners and then I took my rusty hinge distress ink and I inked over it so it wasn't so stark white and just gave it a little texture and I took my decorative labels 8 spellbinder die and I used that to go around and cut out this sentiment that is the stamper's best stamp and I used a little sticko puffy heart there because there was just a little heart for the dot on the eye and then I mod podged this onto the chipboard piece and then I took these um, prima flowers and I um, used some rusty hinge to kind of make them go so they weren't so orange and then this is a button from my stash and this is a Webster's Pages sparkler that I put in the center of this flower and then I used the Tim Holtz swivel clasp I just used the chain part and I hung a couple three charms off from it from craft supplies one a little perfume bottle and a passport and then this heart isn't from craft supplies one it's just for my stash and then I took these petite little flowers here um, that I had gotten I think they're wild orchid crafts possibly or uh, I am roses and then I added some TPC studio rhinestone bling that I had gotten in a rack from Judy Bakes 22 so thank you Judy and then I just used this really pretty lace trim from my stash to go all the way around the edge of the scalloped um, piece so um, I am going to like I say give this to my friend for her birthday and um, and a little easel so she can stand it up and display that in her living room so thank you ladies for watching and have a nice day